What's up YouTube, Jetforth here, and for a while now I've been hearing a lot that armor doesn't matter and you shouldn't be stacking armor, making builds, and so on. So I decided that maybe we should go ahead and put this into a scientific test, if you will. Basically how I did this is I went to Jefferson Trade Center. The first tests are on normal and then I did do challenging because I could already hear the comments that... Yeah, you know what I'm going to say. I made two separate builds. Neither of them are min-maxed or anything. It's just I threw on the lowest of low armor that I could, which was 174,000, and then the highest armor that I could, which ended up being 251,000. I did try to make this test as fair as I absolutely could, using our fun little friend, the Gangsta Sideways Shooter Boy. I have been working on this for the past three days, with tons and tons of footage trying to get everything to line up perfectly, just so it was right. So a super big old like would be much appreciated. The footage that you're seeing right now, I am wearing the 174,000 gear set. The TTK on me is 5.8 seconds. And now this set is the 251,000 armor set, with a time to kill on me of 11.6 seconds. And as you can see, I had to actually actively chase him down for him to take me down. Now I do apologize for my editing skills, but here are both those pieces of footage put side by side so that you can see that they are roughly shooting me in the same pattern. Like I said, I did get hours and hours of footage doing this, so here is another instance of the same place on normal of two instances that line up together really nicely. So after going through hours and hours of footage doing this, using stopwatches and all that other junk, it's pretty clear that double the armor gives you double the amount of time to live. For our next test, I decided to take it to your favorite, my favorite, the Baton Lady. With the lower armor set, she could take me down with four hits. Then we switch it over to the 250,000 armor gear set, and it takes her seven swings to take me down. And she even gives me a little extra love tap at the end, so I guess we can call it a <laughs> no, not really, but she did do it. Next up, we have the gangsta test on challenge mode with a TTK of 3.10 and a TTK of 6.4. So again, it is double. And finally, we have two elite baton ladies on challenge. With the higher armor, it took her four swings. Actually, it was three because somebody managed to shoot me at the end, but obviously she had one hit left on me before that. With the lower set of armor, I didn't even stand a chance. It was a downswing and upswing, and that was it. I was down for the count. So my final conclusion on this with all of the testing that I've done and everything is that, yeah, I mean, armor definitely does matter in this game. It may seem like it doesn't, but it definitely does. That extra three seconds, that extra five seconds, that's gonna buy you time to get back into cover, it's gonna buy you time to heal, you know, and so on and so forth. So I mean, if you want to make a tanky build and mid-max it, I see no reason why you wouldn't be able to completely outlive the my 250,000 armor build. Saying that armor doesn't really matter in this game is pretty silly. But either way, you know, you be you. Play the game how you want to play. It. For me personally, on my AR build, I tried to keep myself over 200,000 armor, and I have no problems running my 543 build with taking damage and still being able to output 1.2 million damage consistently with it. Well, my fellow agents, that is it. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below what you think about all this, if I did it justice, or anything. Let's have a conversation, I suppose. Hit the old like button for me if you could. That would be a super awesome. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and all that other junk. And I'll catch you all on the flip side. Peace.